My favorite sucks. Wait, no, I'm <laughs> this is a very good analogy on that one. Very horrible. I hate it. The sound guy found that kind of funny, although he heard it. <laughs> Shout out to the sound guy over there. Doing his thing. Doing a good job with the, you know, the sound tonight. Best I've had yet. <laughs> I'm actually excited for Flowers because uh, I came from Flint, Michigan, so it's always nice to see people from my hometown. Well, absolutely. You know, you know, even if they fight one of your teammates tonight, you know, deep down, you know, you want to kind of root for the home, you know, your hometown, dude, you know, and um. Marjan's tough, you know, tough as, tough as come, you know, they got Mitch, you know, Mitch is, Mitch is a problem, especially when he's on his back. Yes. This is very, very dangerous off his back. This is one wrestler who prefers to get taken down, and you don't find that very often. I mean, you don't find a wrestler base who wants to get taken down. I'm loving the purple spandex. All the DC Prodigy guys came out with the neon colors. Got to look good. Well, absolutely. I, I, was, I was rocking those neon blues a long time ago, yeah. man. I, I, I know I look good in them. Learn from guys like you, Sturgis, uh, Vinny Murdoch. You guys started it. You guys, are, you guys are taking it to a whole new level with those nice tans. Let's see how Mitch can do off his back here. Oh, he's going for a tight ankle lock. He has it. He needs to get good. his hip over. He's looking good. He Marge needs to scooch his hip into the leg more. Scoot his, uh, his hip down the knee a little bit more. Yep. Mar Marjan put himself in the position, actually. He, uh, he had the right position, had a foot in the butt to escape, but he put himself right where Mitch needs to be to finish his. Looks like Mitch is going to take his back from here. See what he goes for. You know, M Mitch has uh, phenomenal triangle chokes and stuff, but he does have some sneaky leg attacks, man. I'm Very you. sneaky uh, ankle locks, knee bars, everything. I mean, he almost caught me crafty. one time. We, we had a little uh, little friendly argument one night, you know, at a, at a, uh, at a party, team party, and uh, we talked about, you know, who could submit who. And uh, the jiu-jitsu coach said, you know, we're going to find out come Monday. So he, they had us do a six-minute match. And he almost caught me in an knee bar right off the bat. I was, I was kind of worried. That was, that was my pride on the line right there. Wow, wow. <laughs> Mitch is in uh, guard right now. Nice. Throwing some solid strikes. Got to side control, took his back. Very solid. Got one hook in, two hooks. Oh, still one hook. Working for the next one. And you can vouch on this one. This is like when a wrestler takes your back, that's the last place you want a wrestler to be on. Yeah, grapevines, everything. So oh, you let us on your back. Position from there. You let a solid wrestler on your back, you're not getting us off. <laughs> Mitch nice throwing knees some big Mitch. knees. Nice. Get kind of high here. Beautiful back take. You know, it looks like Mitchell belongs at 45. You know, at, at 55, he just seemed like he got out muscled. He looks like he's doing the muscle in that 45. Mitch is a gamer. He'll he'll go to any weight class that they want him to fight at. I think he belongs at 45, though. I agree with you. Well, absolutely. And I, I actually just cornered him two weeks ago, and he fought at 170. You know, he weighed in at 166 with his clothes on. You know. Wow. Going for a tight arm bar. Nice arm bar. It's tight. Oh, nice oh. defense by Marjan. Very nice defense. Beautiful defense. You know that. That, that's, that's what I'm talking about when these guys switch camps. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can tell he's, they're learning the defense. Right. Been standing him up. Marjan looks tired. Nice. Mitch going for a tight guillotine. Doesn't have it. Very nice back trip by uh, Mitchell. You know, the... Mitchell's nickname is the artist, and he is, you know, showing why they call him the artist. He's just mixing things up, making it look beautiful out Like here. I said, he's very, very crafty with his jujitsu. <laughs> Mitch straight going arts and crafts out there. Beautiful, beautiful uh, first round. Very enjoyable. I feel like Mitch won that round, but uh, 
Majan got the, the reversal in the middle of the round, so. You know, out of, out of my professional opinion, you know, I, I would agree with you that Mitchell won that, you know, 10-9. But you know what? I've seen crazier things out of judges in my day, you know, and I've been on this sport for a good seven years now. And um, never leave it in the judges' hands. You know, you don't, you know, and that's why you gotta work hard, you know. But they always say it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So. Exactly, exactly. Both fighters look relaxed. Just off of outer drive. Make sure you check us out at Southgate. For WXC's next show, True Here we go. Shout out to another pro fighter, you know, Darren Kirchick and Kelly True, you know, both professional fighters. Both solid professional fighters. Darren being in the UFC. Idol of mine, I love Darren. How can you not love Darren? If it wasn't for Darren, I probably wouldn't wouldn't be fighting right now, you know, it's it's insane. Very low takedown from Mitch, doesn't get it. Mitch going for another leg lock. Marjan doing a good job defending. Going for an ankle lock. He needs to get closer to that knee again, though. Yep. Mitch needs to scoot himself down. Very nice reversal by Flowers. This is what Mitch wants right here. You know, this is just a, an all-around very good MMA, you know, fight. You know, this is this is what it's about right here. You know, got some stand-up, got some, you know, some takedowns, some Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, a little bit of everything, you know. Flowers is coming on strong in the second round. Yeah, right now, he's, he's in control right now, you know, but this is what Mitch wants to be. in the half guard. Oh. Mitch, Mitch about to go triangle choke. Mitch looking for another submission. Mitch come out, come with the rubber guard. Very effective rubber guard, though. I do know he does have that, you know. And, he uses it effectively, you know, a lot of times rubber guard, you know, a lot of people like to stall with it. But uh, Mitch keeps it pretty active, you know. Oh, Mitch is in trouble. Mitch is eating a lot of strikes here. Mitch needs to bump, start bumping right here, get moving. Go, go, go. Fight was stopped by Flowers, TKO. I felt Mitchell was uh, very dominant in the first round, but Flowers came on strong in the second round. Stayed tight, stayed strong. Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. Um, it could be something to do with some, maybe the weight cut got to him. Who knows? Um, it could be a lot of things, you know, but it could be that, that one punch. You know, all it takes is that one shot, you know, to catch somebody wrong, you know? Right. Very good MMA fight, though. Well, absolutely, you know, and I know Mitchell, he's going to get back to the drawing board, he's going to come back strong, you know, the kid improves every time he fights, you know, and, you know, you, you got to learn from losses, you know, and that's, if you don't learn from losses, then what's the point of being in this sport? Ladies and gentlemen, after one minute and 45 seconds in the first round, your winner, by way of PK. I'd like to see this fight happen again one day. I would definitely like to see this fight again. I feel, uh, honestly, Mitchell, I feel like he could have won this fight, but.